Uh-oh. We're dealing with Sammy getting arrested and the handcuffs she complaining about him. We got Lucas judging people like he got in the room. Okay, this is going to be another shit show. Let's jump on into it, shall we? And that reminds me, Superman, we got to either get you a goon or teach you how to fight. We need to give you one of the two, because it's a damn shame. You're rich in all this money and getting your ass whooped. Goon and or you're going to teach you how to fight. Either one to do for me. You need to invest in one of those, sonny. Oh, my God. Lucas making an ass out of himself. We got Superman up here dreaming of Will and seeing Will. Yeah, and I guarantee you that's Paul. And now you're finna make Paul look stupid. God, you sitting there thinking this wheel again. <sighs> this episode is gonna be a mess. I can feel it. Um, Sonny, no disrespect to your buddy, but we already got one hurricane. We don't need Superman to the mids. Sit your ass down, Sonny. Enjoy your hospital stay. Worry about your noggin. Cause that's a never mind. I must say, Sonny, stay your ass in that hospital. Sammy is enough. We don't need to be worrying about your no fighting ass. Sonny has self receipts. John, why are we talking in hypotheticals? You didn't know Marlena long enough. You didn't know Sammy enough. You know Sammy don't follow the rules, and she always managed to break every rule she basically had laid out to her. Why are we talking in hypotheticals, John? I don't understand. You know Sammy don't listen to nobody but her own mind. So why are we doing this again? Why are we having this conversation? Okay, I guess you want to waste time, so go on ahead, John, I guess. Roger, Elvis, whatever you calling yourself the next day, um, who you got here? I'm still confused. I want to say Will, and I don't want to say Will. It all will be revealed soon, I guess. I'm tired of waiting. I'm ready to know who the hell you got, Elvis. Oh, God. Now we got Eli playing daddy. Gabby. I hope you serious this time when it comes to Eli. You got him introducing him to your daughter. Yeah, that's fucked up if y'all don't make it this time. Gonna have that baby getting used to him and y'all ain't gonna make it. I'm just saying. And I wouldn't do, but go ahead and do what you gotta do, Gabby. I guess. I guess. Yeah, sonny, you not ready to be a parent. I know you wanna play dead and Ari on the live. But yeah, fuck you. That come to that child. You supposed to get up and go. Ready you injured or not. You should have been playing that and thought ahead the Wait, Ariana got something. Let me call somebody to cover in, you know, for uh, she won't miss that uh miss that moment or whatever. At least make it Yeah, Sonny, you're not ready to be a parent. Good thing you just practicing along with Ariana, even though you is her father figure kinda. You know what, Paul, my heart break break you, it really does. It breaks. But seeing that I didn't met every one of your exes. I don't really feel that sorry for you, because I know sooner or later one come bouncing in the town to come see you, see how you doing, just like that little other baseball boy, your assistant always stayed in town and almost tried to sleep with Will and try, mm -hmm. I don't feel that sorry for you, Paul, but I feel a little sorry for you, because I know you got answers always willing to take um sunny place, so I don't go too thin for you. Oh, Sammy, you must be desperate today, sweetheart. You want Lucas to break you out, then you're going to talk about play or drunk, do what you good at? That was an insult all in one. I would have left if I was Lucas. But then again, he trying to find answers. You trying to find answers. Y'all both desperate right now. You trying to get out so you can go back to that man house and mess with him again. So I understand your options are very thin, and Lucas is a nickname in front of your face, so I get you. Jesus, now they sitting up here arguing. Lucas said he ain't doing it. Sammy telling him he been a hard ass and dramatic. Now he feels on top of way and he offended now. So, Sam, if he was going to help you, he didn't change his mind. You could have changed his mind all over again for him to help you out, but you insulted him, so... Good luck running to the door now, because now, that's not going to happen. And Elvis... 
I see you need to be introduced to Sammy too. You must not know her very well. You think Sammy give a fuck about a damn restraining order or any type of order or the man or any type of Elvis, I hope you're ready for your wig to get knocked off your head because that's what Sammy is exactly free to do to you. I hope you realize she's not done with you quite yet. So you think your little restraining order going to stop her? Good luck with that. Sonny, you still ain't got over that whole Will thing that Will cheated on you. You treated him kind of harshly, which he deserved, and you still carrying on about Okay, Sonny, you, that must have really hurt you and broke your heart that he ended up dying and he didn't know how much you really loved him. So I understand what you're going through, but not really. So I can't really judge or say, yeah, or nay, how you feel or whatever, but it's time to get over that now, um, Sonny, and move on to turn the page and forget about it if he was and think about he was and moving on to the pastures and what you want now. Yeah, I mean, Lucas, you don't want to play Sammy in the guilt train. She lost two people. You lost one, and and a, and a double dumped you. Boo hoo hoo hoo! Look at Sammy life and look at your life, Lucas. I know you didn't try to compare you and Sammy life. Don't do that never again. It's embarrassing, really. And you just made an ass out of yourself. And you think about it, Sammy had more loss than you did. And I would have shut my... You drunk, so again, you don't know what the hell you said. You just trying to get a comeback. And you still trying to stop, trying to find one through these little lost scrawl that you trying to find you a comeback in that you can throw back in her face thinking you looking good, but you're sounding more dumber than the second. So I can't fault you too damn hard because you doing what you know how to do best trying to defend yourself justin you came in just in time she was just with a cost another mess for you to clean up <laughs> you is good for something huh justin i always thought you had it in this show now i see why i ain't gonna never mind let me hush justin you know sammy you foolish if you think she better just gone to the hospital in the cab. Yeah, you think Sammy care about a restraining order? Mm -hmm. Justin, don't be foolish. Check in, make sure she doing it, because you know Sammy don't... F oh, okay. You ought to know better, Justin. Just saying. Gabby, all I got to say for you, you got this man playing daddy. You better make this relationship work with Eli, or me and you gonna have some problems. This will be, what, the third man you never brought around that girl that didn't work? Yeah, it's time to get your shit together, and I mean quick, Gabby. Mm-hmm. Hotel across the street. Convenient. Luke is standing in the hotel across the street near the room next door to Adrian. Very convenient, Dave. Very. Asylum. That's where we at Salem, not Memphis. Mm-hmm. Days, you're not pulling nobody's legs. We know y'all ass is in Salem. Justin, so you is foolish. You should have known you couldn't trust Sammy. And you actually trust her to go to the hospital via the cab. You actually thought she was coming to... Justin, just when I have a little hope in you, you go snatch that light away and I lose all hope in you. I can't with you. Sammy, you just can't keep your little ass out of trouble, could you? You done broke back in that man's house. You better get rearrested again. You gonna make Justin work ten times harder than he had to work getting you out. You have fun with that. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't get the likes, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.